Thank you very much. Just about um, early this year, the NIMED gave an overview of the seasonal rainfall um, prediction. I want you to give us a basic knowledge on what 2017 looks like. Of March 2017, NIMED released the 2017 edition of the seasonal rainfall prediction. And uh, that prediction gives us a detail of what the weather and climate of Nigeria is going to look like during the year. And most importantly, um, in the prediction, we specified when the rains are likely to start, when they are likely to end, the length of the growing season, the total amount of rainfall. And uh, in that publication, we also mentioned the period we expect some what we call dry spells, period where maybe there will be shortage of rainfall or rain will not occur up to 10 to 20 days in some places. So in summary, that is what is contained in the forecast. And we also included temperature forecast, although the temperature forecast was from January to April 2017. That is what is in the forecast. Uh, I'm concerned about energy. Um, due to what the forecast said, that there will be limited rainfall or short-term rainfall this year. Um, it will definitely affect our hydropower generation. What do you think um, the, the federal government or the, the country should know that will help um, salvage us of um, power decline, decline in our power? Did talk about. Uh uh, shortfall in rainfall expected in uh, most places, but uh, in some places uh, like in the northeast and northwest and parts of uh, the southwestern part like Quara Axis, we're going to have normal and even above normal rainfall. But for those areas where we have hydropower generating uh, plants where the rains are going to be uh, below normal, um, we advise that there should be a form of rain harvesting. Of course, because the rains are going to start with intensity, high intensity at the beginning, there should be a form of rain harvesting. And alternatively, the, the technology is now gradually moving away from hydropower generation to other alternative uh, sources of energy such as solar power for example and uh, it is good thing to note that we have enough of solar energy in this country and if government can encourage uh, the use of solar power i think it will go a long way to actually augment uh, the hydroelectric power generation and the alignment that um there will be moderate hamatan, which will cause reduction in horizontal visibility, which will cause flight disruptions and loss of revenue due to that delay. What do you advise the aviation sector to do? The rainfall season is gradually setting in, but uh, in the months of January, February and even March, you will recall that there were a lot of flight cancellation and uh, delays, which um, directly affected the 
revenue generation of the airlines. And in that case, you can do little or no to what is happening to nature. Um, when you have peak dust haze, reducing visibility um, below the minima of the airport, then the aircraft cannot land or take off. And the only thing is to now plan. You can replan and reschedule your flights to a more convenient time when the visibility will improve, particularly the late evening to you know night periods. I think the visibility usually improves about that period, so it is better to fly at that time. But having said that, I, like I said, the Ramadan season is over. Uh, we look forward to the next season again, uh, beginning from November, December in the northern part of the country. So for now, we are concentrating on, on the rainfall and we are monitoring um, the onset of rainfall as predicted to see where there are deviations, if there is any. On the Amatan season, you know we have a shorter rainfall to come up from. What are, what are the estimated periods so that people could plan towards it? After the short um, rainfall period, what's the period? Is it we supposed to start the Amatan period from September, October or December like it used to be? Uh, because we predicted the uh, early cessation of rainfall, it does not necessarily mean that the Amatan dust is would set in immediately. Um, you see, the Hamatan usually is, is as a result of this inter display or interaction between the northern, northeasterly winds and the southwesterly winds that are coming from the Atlantic Ocean. So there is to be uh, a displacement depending on which one is stronger. I don't want to go into the meteorological terminologies there. But uh, what I'm trying to say is, even though the rains will cease early by the prediction, it does not mean the Hamatan losses will set in as early as September, no. Uh, there will be room for that, again, that adjustment in the season as the, what we call the little, I mean the ITD, the line that is separating the north easterly winds and the southwesterly, uh, recedes southwards and then considerably enough there will be a time again time lag that will be given for the Sahara high pressure center to become strong enough to be able to bring strong winds that will lift the dust from the Sahara desert and then transport them to our area so that will take another additional two months so the Hamatan is expected to still you know start in November Okay, on agriculture now, um, this, it has been predicted as there's going to be limited rainfall and so limited um, planting season. What do you advise the country in particular to do? You know, right now, the cost of farm produce are very expensive in the market and that's what is causing hike in inflation. Though at the time, the inflation went down, but we know in the market that things are going like a middle of Gary going for 350s because uh, there's so much fear in the hair. So, can you clarify that? Uh, this is going to be shorter um, growing season. Um, all we need is planning. Planning in the sense that uh, with the amount of rainfall that is going to occur, if there is adequate planning by the farmers, um, the effect can be mitigated. And what I mean by adequate planning here now is for you to look at those crops, the type of crops that can mature within the period, the specified period. If your own area, for example, is predicted to for the season to end in the uh, first week of October or last week of September, what you need to do is how you calculate how long is your own length of growing season going by the prediction and then you will get crops because there are there are improved varieties now that can mature in three months if it is maize for example or even less so it's a it's a matter of uh, um sensitizing the farmers about this while the, while if the farmers are well sensitized and they are well guided i don't think that it is going to be a, a serious problem. After all, we have some countries that don't even have as much rainfall as we do. 
and yet they can be able to produce enough food to feed the populace. However, um, uh, another alternative is to prepare for um, irrigation, to make arrangements for irrigation so that uh, if your crops are still um, not fully matured for harvest and then the rain ceases, then you have alternative water that you can give crops to survive up to the end of the season. I think that is my own uh, candid advice. Yeah, that was the GM Weather Forecasting Services talking about um, ways on how to be able to manage the short rainfall. One of the things they said is rain harvesting. But before we go, I'll be taking some phone calls. While the phone number will be on your screen, you could just decide to call in to participate in the discussion from the studios. Um, particularly what you should understand is that this year we're going to have limited um, rain.